A properly planned worksite makes work easier, more efficient, and enables the cutter to work in a safer environment. Plan your access to and from the worksite. Use natural openings, wind, and slope of land to your advantage. Always cut across slopes while working uphill. Never cross brooks or large ditches. Keep your gas can near, but not close. And always keep a distance of no less than 10 meters between you and your partner while cutting. Selecting the right crop tree is very important, and there are a few rules to be followed. Select the right species. For pulpwood harvesting in Newfoundland, spruce is favored over balsam fir. Spruce is better able to withstand outbreaks of forest insects. When balsam fir and spruce are in the same stand and are equal in quality, the spruce tree gets preference. Select a tree that is straight. Look for a good healthy leader. Check its overall size and dominance as it relates to the surrounding trees. And approximately 40% of the tree should be a healthy crown. An experienced cutter will make these important decisions instantly, but these rules always apply to ensure proper crop tree selection. Some examples of poor crop trees will help you make the right choice. Trees with fork tops will eventually grow into a poor crop tree. Trees with fork stems are also not considered a good crop tree. and a yellowish color on young needles usually means a tree in poor health. When thinning an area, the trees that are left don't have to be exactly and evenly distributed. Here are some general guidelines to follow. Leave valuable trees even if they grow fairly close. Give the best growing and most valuable trees priority. Leave more trees close to an open area. Leave trees with low priority in open areas and all undesirable trees greater than 20 centimeters in height have to be removed. Berry bushes can be left when they do not interfere with crop tree growth. These bushes provide valuable food for wildlife. Check with your supervisor for more information. To develop the best possible forest for the future, high quality standards are a must. The setting up of quality plots helps to measure work performance and ensure these standards are achieved. The right number of trees per hectare, healthy foliage and crop tree selection are all contributing factors that measure quality. Workers are rewarded for consistent high quality plots.